today we are going to create a pedestal footing foundation in a family I will open the family template we'll go to the structural foundation template click open let's start with how to create structural footing with pedestal I will add some reference planes for footing foundation click on reference plane it has some shortcuts called RP Now I will add some more reference planes for pedestal. Now we will give dimension and click on equal. Again for this equal and for pedestal also give dimension as equal then we'll go to the front elevation we'll add some reference planes for height first one for footing height this one for pedestal height and another one for grout height now go again to the reference plane now we'll create some parameters for footing width and footing length click on the length and click on a length which is already defined then i will select width dimension click on width this is also already defined what i'll do i'll just rename those as a footing length click on edit parameter it's in built-in parameter it is not giving me to edit the length so right now we keep as it is we'll go to the length again we'll make it thousand and width also thousand we'll click on ok you can see this centrally width has changed because we have given equal equal to dimension to here then I will give dimension to pedestal click here create parameter pedestal length it is type parameter category will be the dimension and the pedestal width again it is type parameter category is dimension and click on ok now you can see family types here and my pedestal length and pedestal width will be added I'll just keep this down by moving down and make it 500 the square pedestal apply ok then I'll go to the front elevation and add height parameters here I'll give the dimensions to my all the reference planes click here go to parameter uh, we have some built-in parameter for foundation thickness if you can see here I'll just select that then for pedestal I need to add parameter like pedestal height again type parameter group parameter under dimensions click ok and that is grout thickness ok and again go to the family types here grout thickness will be 50 mm foundation thickness 500 mm and pedestal height 
will be 1500 we can just reorganize this by clicking move down we can have now pedestal length width height in one by one then this is the foundation length foundation width and foundation thickness i would like to add one more over here so just click on ok and go to the reference plane and we will add for grout one more reference plane for grout dimension this 50 mm at all surrounding and lock those dimension okay the reference plane sketch is ready now we will start 3d modeling go to the create extrusion get the rectangle click from this intersection to this intersection right finish now come to the front elevation select that rectangle and lock with the foundation thickness then again come to the reference plane go to create extrusion rectangle click with pedestal re reference plane this to this intersection click on finish again go to the front elevation now you will see this rectangle it should move with this and lock here then again come to the bottom clip to the foundation thickness and lock here again go to the reference plane to create and get blend over here now we have to create base of grout so we'll just click on rectangle the base of grout is similar to the pedestal okay then go to the edit top now we have to create top of grout which is we have created some reference planes draw the rectangle over there and click on finish go to the front elevation now the top of grout will be this make sure it should be locked and bottom of ground will be top of pedestal right make sure it is locked now you can see on a 3d okay we can check whether our parameters are working or not we will change change the length of footing click on apply it is working perfectly we will change width of footing we will change thickness of foundation that we can check click on ok go to the front elevation and we will see this then again we will go to and change the pedestal height apply you can see here grout thickness also we can change as a 25 thick and click on ok come to the reference planes now we change the pedestal length and width you can see okay uh, we can change the grout chamfer also I will just quickly edit this dimension we remove the lock and I'll add a parameter select dimension add parameter and say grout chamfer type parameter group parameter under dimensions we quickly select this dimension and change to the grout chamfer and I will come here and we'll say grout chamfer is 25 okay you can see the 3d view I would like to give some material so I'll, I'll just add one more parameter go to the new parameter and we'll say foundation material click on okay. new parameter foundation material change the material change the type of parameter as material group parameter under material and finishes okay then next I want to add pedestal material again it is it will be the material material finishes click on ok so you can always select material by clicking on this I, right now I will select concrete cast in place on all three ok I will just change the dimension again I want my pedestal oh, footing dimension as 1000 foundation thickness will be 300 pedestal length and pedestal width will be 500 pedestal height I want 1000 only now I want the type of this structural footing as f1 so i'll just click here and come and say f1 f1 with the thousand by thousand footing now i want f2 with different type i'll click 
here and say new type f2 and click on ok and i'll change dimensions of footing let's say 550 550 and pedestal height also some difference and click on apply and ok i haven't saved this family so first i will save the structural family click on save and save the structural structural foundation with pedestal pedestal and ground click on save now load in the project we add some grids this is just for the representation and we add that footing come to the component waste footing you can see the structural foundation in pedestal and grout you can see the f1 and f2 i'll click on my grids place those here it is i will change my type from f1 to f2 you can see this is how you can create structural footing we can also create more types from here just go to the type properties duplicate and you can say f3 here you can okay you can change the dimension length i'll give this 1500 1500 450 750 750 and pedestal have to land okay you can see this is now f3 this is f2 f1 f2 sorry and that one Hope you like this video, please subscribe and share. Thank you for watching this.